This is a vlog about how my brother destroyed my life from the start and just, just to document it in case anyone's unable to understand. And then I can use this video to just explain and not have to keep saying it. It all started when my brother used to work from the army and he, he was the IT man there, but he nothing ever happened to me there. He must have had to have lived by the book, so nothing happened there. Then he got the job at MFAT, uh, Foreign Affairs, and um, my mother was admitted to hospital at the time. And I went in to see her, and he, he pulled me into the waiting room and said, look, I know all about your incomes, I know you're getting royalties, all this shit. And then he basically implied that he knew all my bank details, all my emails, all my internet history, and he was just going to destroy me. So I was like, well, that was weird. So I went and visited my mother and then left. And at the time, I was unaware, but he was hiding 400k of her money in Australia, and this was all to get rid of me. And I, I, I didn't even know, and I didn't even want the money because my nieces were supposed to be getting the money that they stole. So... I came back to the hospital twice to visit my mother. When that time she was in hospital, and then both times I got a message from this lady who I did free work for. I filmed her, put her online, and and that was that. And and I never earned anything out of it. She was just playing the saxophone, and I got the first message, and it was like, "You're nothing but a bully. How dare you say that to me?" And I was like, "Why is she doing this when my mother is dying in hospital?" And I I didn't even bully her. And then I just sort of messed back. I said, why are you doing this? My mother's in hospital. And then she was like, rah, 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 how dare you, you bully, you're earning money. And little did I know it was, these texts were from Richard from her phone, obviously. And I didn't know, I thought it was her. So I just lost the plot and said, well, you can get fucked and fuck you and all this and fuck off. And then um, it happened again when I went back to visit my mum, probably a few days later. The messages started again from her. You're bullying me. How dare you stop her? And I was like, this has happened twice while I'm visiting my mother. What is going on? You know, I couldn't understand it. And then after that, I went home and I got a call from a police officer saying she had called the police about me. And I was like, this just is impossible. Anyway, that was the first incident. The second incident was mother. So I was having an argument with Richard and I was blaming him about the child sex abuse claims. And I was calling, you know, no one believed me. So I was just like, fuck you, you, you know, swearing abusive mass text messages because he had promised, he had already been seen by a sexual abuse counsellor and admitted it. And he had promised to get me psychological help and he never did. So I was just abusing the hell out of him, saying, you know, if you, how dare you do this? And and um, I'm not even allowed to see my mother anymore. You're stopping that because he was, every time I'd go and see my mother, my mother would send me messages. Oh, you, I'm, I'm really annoyed you've said that to Richard. And he was just building this relationship of hate. So I went home and I had a, I had a, I had a friend here working for me and I got this strange message and it was like a, a Gmail, but it was in the code of the message and, it, and um, it was about her that was working here. And I was like, that's just the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. And I showed her and she must've thought I was crazy, but it was him and it said in it, I've i 7 you. So obviously he was trying to say he's hacked me. And then, so that was okay. And then, I sent him these abusive messages and one he spoofed to my mother. And because I was messaging him, he was messaging me, there was no way I could have sent it to mother. And then boom, mother, in between the conversation, mother just pops up and says, how dare you send that to me? I am never speaking to you again. And I can tell you, I never spoke to my mum again. So I don't know what he sent her and how she received it, but I never spoke to my mother again after that, all because he spoofed that message. So that was that time. And then this lady I was working with, she, I'll be straight with you, she had children, she was on meth, she'd lost her children at that stage or something. And, and she was on meth and, she, and I was trying to help her beat it. And so I went and brought her a laptop and kept in contact with her and tried to employ her, tried to help her in every way I could. I even went to her ex-boyfriend who was harassing him, her and just stood outside after he harassed her uh, in my car across the road and filmed after going and seeing her 
and f- in her complaining about him harassing her and filmed him across the road and he never harassed her again. But then she started complaining that I was harassing her and I never harassed her, you know? I never harassed her. And still to this day, my niece, because she was my niece's friend, said, oh, well, you didn't harass her, did you? And I was like, I never harassed her, okay? And this was obviously my brother sending messages to her from my phone, making her think I was harassing her. So that was that lady, and then I completely fell out with her, and she hated me still to this day all my life. Actually, I went and seen her at work by accident, and she was really fine with me. So she knows deep down I didn't harass her, and she was really nice to me. And that's all on the CCTV cameras too. So that was a, that was that, and then uh, I started noticing that I had mushroom companies and things, and everything just started getting destroyed. I started getting people sending me messages. He was, I, I think of it now, he was using, he was making profiles of gang members and threatening me, and it was just un, unbelievable the amount of harassment I have received in ways that are just not possible. And all of my companies failed, and people would buy stuff and it would just go missing all the time, and. It was just ridiculous. None of this bad luck could happen like this. And so I lost the mushroom business and I still had a trade me and I was just still barely able to pay some rent and buy this and buy buy a bit of food. But then uh, my mother died. Without me knowing, I told him that I was abandoning all my emails because someone was harassing me. Little did I know it was him. And I told him not to send any emails to this. And I gave him the new email and my new phone number. And the harassment just got worse. And then, and then my mother died. And he sent the message from the lawyer saying that they were going to turn her off to my old, old email. He knew I had abandoned. And I had already told him I'm not using it anymore. And, and then I found out my mother had died. And so I... I started contacting Kayla, and he did exactly the same thing there. She has it on her phone. Go around and see her, my niece. And the message came, I was sending to him saying, how fucking dare you You do this to me, you know, you wank. And he sent that message to Kayla. And then Kayla started, what the and Kayla has fallen out with me so many times. Every time I've gone into contact with her, she's fallen out with me because he's been sending her these messages. 